Good evening, campers. Today we're going to talk about C.G. Liu's second novel in the Three Body Problem series, The Dark Forest. Ardent fans of Chinese author Xi Jin Liu really like to get on the knees and fillet this entire series, which is a little bit ironic because this entire book is just elongated foreplay. I feel as though it's more likely for me to pull a tapeworm out of my ass than anything positive to say. The amount of baited and switching that Xi Jin Liu does throughout this is like abhorrently great. In. The Dark Forest has solidified to me that Xi Jin Liu is more focused about the big ideas that actually storytelling. I don't think it's helped by the second book having a different change in structure. Within the first book you had short chapters so any info dumping or plot continuation was almost contained. God knows what this third book's gonna be like I haven't even opened it but the second book everything's in part which means that there's just this elongation of Siege and Lou just just continuing on and on and on and on. But these ideas are so big they're so complex that I feel as though for the Dark Forest we spend more time in amongst the weeds. I have no idea how the Trisolarians and the Sophons, I don't even understand how, I don't understand how is this alien race so like almost like primitive but they have these Sophons that can like read minds and they spy on people on earth. Don't get me started on the wall breakers and the wall faces. That was ridiculous. It was, it, oh, I didn't even want to get my head around Netrunner, that card game. And it's basically there but this is the other thing. Xi Jin Liu really gets the reader, I personally feel, on the back foot because he's so invested in ideas that he's almost using, he's using theories, ideas and conjectures not to progress a story but to make the story happen. You couldn't even see like the through line for half of it or you do the, oh we'll just, we'll just freeze your wife and now you have to be 200 years in the future. Sorry about that. Worst future armor redo ever. Frustrated and it's not even helped that all the characters, like they're all the same. Again, I said this in the first book. I, I didn't identify that the Trisolarians were alien. I thought they were just human and everyone here is the exact same. I, I couldn't tell you any like distinguishing features apart from Loji forgets people's names until they're absolutely killed. I don't understand. How do you take these innovative, winding, complex ideas and, and just just plateau and just make everything so flat that it's just like it's pulling teeth. I'm aware that there's gonna be someone who's gonna pull out the ha ha gotcha card oh, clearly they must do because they read this but are gonna be like you're not smart enough to understand this I promise you maybe I'm not but like I I cannot fathom my head around any of it even in regards to the dark forest itself. Laoji's answer to the Fermi paradox is there life out there are we the only ones? Which basically, I don't even understand the statistics of how it's even working. What, to increase your odds you just have to kill everyone? I'm not sure. And we know this life. We know about the Trisolarians. Like, what, what are we doing? I don't understand any of this. I hated this book. It, it's elongated. It's gratuitous. It's a little bit of an exercise. I think it's usually just wanting to talk about things, trying to put a story together, trying to create characters, but they all serve just, just for him as like a mouthpiece to talk about these ideas which which is just like an infuriating you, I, like just tell me what your theories are like that's I don't need 500 pages of description of prose of plot that does nothing but to just serve a CJ Luby like hey isn't this interesting it's just like it's oh <laughs> it's just the word it's the worst and, and maybe I don't like big idea science fiction I don't like hard science fiction maybe that's what I've deduced from all of it but this is ah uh, what are people enjoying about this I can't even tell you like I thought that like Lao Ji in regards to like while he's part of the wall faces I thought it was going to be this like parallel between the cultural revolution that we had before that he's paranoid that he's going to be like he's branded this counter revolutionary but he's chosen for the role but everything he does people are like mm, that's a little bit suspicious I'm like but you chose him but then again he has no agency we have we, have, we don't understand his motives we don't even understand his drives I don't think he even understands his drives so any form of like empathy or like oh I wasn't expected that you just don't expect it because you just don't know anything about Laoji and I don't know what I'm going to get from any of this apart from boom boom spaceship goes blast what oh, there's aliens I wonder if there's life out there but we already know that what the, what the 
What the fuck is this series? I'll finish it, I'll read the third one. I have no con- I don't understand all the praise. I don't understand all the accolades. I am lost. It is just boring. It is trite. It is- It is- Yeah, <laughs> I read it! I'm lost! Oh my god, what am I doing? I feel as though- I generally feel as though I'm gonna be at my wit's end by death's end. I- 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 I